Vegans would have you believe that cow farts produce 30% of global greenhouse gas emissions, but this could not be further from the truth. I'm going to go over what impact following a plant-based diet actually has on the environment and why those statistics are incorrect and how certain vegan foods are actually worse for the environment and harmful compared to animal foods. This chart shows what impact various things actually have on climate change. The silliest comparison to make here is having one child is over 60 times more carbon emissions than eating a plant-based diet. Any vegans with children out there that say anything about the environment are contradicting themselves about 70 times over. Even simple things such as hang drying your clothes, recycling, and washing clothes in cold water all add up to eating a plant-based diet. Living car-free is three times more effective than eating a plant-based diet. Avoiding one transatlantic flight is twice as effective as following a plant-based diet. It's amazing that when you put these things into actual context, how small of an impact going vegan actually has on the environment. I was on Twitter earlier and I saw this vegan's lunch and it's an example of flying in 15 different foods from various parts of the world and acting like you're holier than everyone else. It is completely ridiculous to think that consuming this many foods from this many parts of the world that needed to be shipped in for you to consume them is better for the environment than even eating local grass-fed beef. I'm sure this is worse for the environment than having some beef shipped over from Australia. Just think of all the transportation emissions from all of these foods. Kenya bans avocado exports due to severe shortages. Vegan demand for certain plant-based foods that these cookie-cutter vegans need to include in their diet is astounding. And I'm sure there's many, many other foods that are causing similar problems in various countries that you don't really hear about. Uh, I know Pau Diarca tea is another big one. Algae oil versus fish oil for sustainability. Algae oil, a supplement that vegans commonly use to get their DHA in, is not sustainable from the perspective of the infrastructure or cost right now. And these people just, they brush these things under the rug. They don't really want to talk about them. Being vegan isn't as good for humanity as you think. This article goes over how certain types of land are better for doing different things like grasslands are obviously better for grazing cattle and not necessarily for growing vegetables. Science says being vegetarian is worse for environment than eating meat. And these articles kind of go into all of these. They go into how certain vegan foods and vegetarian foods and plant foods like cucumbers, celery, lettuce, eggplant, all of these foods are very, very low in calories and require a lot of water and fertilizers to be grown. So what ends up happening is they actually have two to three times, maybe even more, the carbon impact that consuming like pork or poultry or even beef does. These foods are literally worse for the environment than meat is. Frederick Leroy and this article, Cows Are Getting a Bad Rap and It's Time to Set the Record Straight, sum up how those 30% cow fart statistics were smudged and how the actual CO2 emissions from ruminant agriculture, all U.S. livestock in general, is under 3%. So if vegans were going out and say, oh, well, 2.6% of CO2 emissions are caused by all animal agriculture, uh, that, that'd be a bit too truthful for them, unfortunately. And it, it's really unfortunate that that statistic gets so much light, and it's literally one of the only reasons people believe following a vegan diet is good for the environment. Uh, onto the actual problem of monoculture crops and how uh, certain things like m soil mineral depletion and you know bugs and certain weeds becoming resistant to herbicides and pesticides, it's what is what actually is destroying the biodiversity and the ability to naturally farm in our environment. So if you guys wanna read into any of these other things, I will post them in the description. I didn't really want to go too in-depth on this. I just wanted to give you guys a brief summary of things and give you the information to do your own research. It's really unfortunate that these misleading statistics are out there and people literally think that a plant-based diet is better for the environment than a meat-based diet, whereas in most cases, 
it's negligible at best. And also in that tweet that Frederick Leroy goes over, he also speaks about how uh, raising animals on pasture can actually have a net positive carbon impact. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you guys want to check out a really good TED Talk, Alan Savory uh, has a very good TED Talk. I'll link that in the description as well. Uh, if you guys would like to support me, please just share the video. If you guys want to reach out to me for anything regarding the carnivore diet, shoot me an email or uh, reach out to me on my website, which is down below in the description.